error hello so today we have an um, interesting case this is a um, 82 years old woman with a history of um, dyspepsia and um, epigastric pain and um, laboratory data showed uh, elevation of um, amylase and lipase so in this case was um, indicated um, an uh, endoscopic ultrasound to evaluate the pancreas and to see if she have any lesion that could uh, represent this alteration and um, and we are now um, trying to see exactly what happened with this patient so um, we will put the uh, echographic image the uh, ultrasound image uh, now and we are looking at the head of the pancreas of this patient as you can see here in the image we have um, a head of the pancreas with uh, some hyperechoic uh, areas small areas uh, with a suspicion of uh, fibrotic areas okay and uh, without uh, any other alteration anatomical alteration at uh, the endoscopic ultrasound in, in B mode these um, hyperechoic spots um, inside the, the, the pancreas could represent a uh, suspicion of um, chronic inflammation of the pancreas that could be reflected by the symptoms of the patient and the, um, the epigastric pain and elevation of um, these um, laboratory parameters. So now we are performing an elastography of this area as you can see here we are performing first um, qualitative uh, elastography endoscopic elastography of this area so uh, if we see the colors we can see here uh, some areas blue and some areas green and um, this could represent the characteristic of um, um, fibrotic alteration um, in the head of the pancreas uh, that could represent also the fibrotic areas show with in B mode. In addition, we are performing in this uh, in this area we are performing a quantification of uh, this elastography using the the method proposed by I Julio Iglesias and um, and his team regarding the strain ratio compar uh, performing a um, um, comparative uh, analysis between uh, the region of interest that is the head of the pancreas with the uh, soft tissue in this case we are taking as parameter the um, mucosalea as you can see here and this uh, comparative analysis showed a uh, difference between uh, both of 6.69 this as uh, has previously showed in uh, many publications could reflect is another kind of um, analysis that could uh, help us to um, deter determine if this patient had a uh, have an an um, chronic pancreatitis a chronic pancreatitis. So, um, in addition, we can perform also uh, an analysis of the same histogram. This is a a very interesting analysis because I have uh, less uh, bias in the analysis and uh, this was published uh, in gastrointestinal endoscopy by the 
Romanian team of uh, Dr. Safiu and uh, he his team. So here, um, the analysis showed um, a mean of uh, of uh, the region of interest of 77.9 in normal conditions. Um, normal pancreatic tissue have an a mean of uh, of the strain histogram analysis of uh, more uh, than 100 and in this case between 50 and 100 uh, could reflect um, chronic uh, inflammation with a fibrosis area and in this case we can um, say as a result of this examination that this patient have a um, fibrotic areas that are are observed in the head of the pancreas and less in the in the body of the pancreas but um, with the symptoms and with the alteration of the laboratory um, could uh, reflect and we we can confirm the suspicion of a chronic pancreatitis so now we will we will perform uh, we will try to see um, the biliary tract because we need to see if this patient doesn't have any other kind of alteration for example uh, stones in the biliary tract here for example we are looking um, we are looking for um, the common biliary duct here as you can see here this is the common biliary duct it doesn't have any kind of lesions inside and this is uh, the um, the main pancreatic duct here but um, only shows some hyperechoic areas here but no lesion of uh, irregularity of the of this um, of this area so the measure of this uh, main pancreatic duct is normal for me is 2.7 millimeters and of this uh, common biliary duct is uh, 4.5 4 millimeters and doesn't show with any kind of alteration okay this is the portal vein so here we are we are following our our um, common biliary duct as you can see here okay and we don't see any kind of lesion or alteration we will go we are going now to the uh, body of the pancreas so now we are in the in the in the gastric body looking for um, the body of the pancreas and and we can see some hyperechoic spots here also but without um, any other uh, criteria for uh, for chronic pancreatitis so here for example in the in the tail of the pancreas we see very normal areas but some heterogeneous areas in some areas in some in some regions of, of, of the pancreas We can see the spleen and the kidney, and here the splenic vein. So, in this endoscopic ultrasound, we do not identify any kind of alteration, and and probably this patient have. Um, a chronic pancreatitis and we need to start a treatment to see if uh, there is any kind of uh, relief of the symptoms and probably uh, um, with this uh, we can confirm the um, the diagnosis of uh, of chronic pancreatitis so um, this is all the medicine
window with alterations and that's it